Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today we've got top stories from Mars, Earth, and the galaxy, all contributing to our knowledge of the Earth disaster cycle and how it's playing out now in the solar system. We also have things to watch on our star as well, so let's begin with the last 24 hours on the sun. A couple more solar flares in the M-class range, all at the northern incoming group which is still turning in to face the Earth. No eruptions aimed our way. Big coronal hole on the south, filaments are stable. We expect that coronal hole solar wind to arrive at Earth Sunday or Monday, minor geomagnetic disruptions from it. But let's go right to the articles and we're starting at Mars where the rover has spotted Martian visible light auroras for the first time. Do you have any idea how many times a solar storm has hit Mars since it landed? Too many to count. If this is truly the first time they've been able to see this, that's a bad sign. Mars changes are rivaled only by Earth's and this is another big one. Up next, speaking of those Earth changes, one that gets little attention is the energy imbalance. Now this and the few other papers trying to discuss it try to blame global warming and our pollution, but no. Not with global warming pause in the middle of this, the extent of this imbalance is beyond a response to temperatures, which has been actually minimal the last 25 years, way less than we're led to believe. The only thing that actually matches the rate of imbalance amplification is the weakening of Earth's magnetic field that we've been tracking. Pole shift marches on. That's what this is. Lastly, folks, what a great paper on galactic structure. Outside of the Milky Way, where we know the amplitude and thickness of the current sheet, this might be the most detailed we've seen. It's not the spiral arms, it's the finer stack field oscillations between them, bringing energetic and physical density changes. Every time they zoom in, there's more and more of these lines and lines and sequence, one after another, running more parallel to each other than anything else. These are the fine structures of the galactic field, the current sheet, and the Milky Way version of this is what is hitting our solar system right now. Folks, tomorrow is the next Pole Shift Conference. These and Prepper Days happen monthly. Come on out and see us in person. Event calendar and all details found at ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got eyes on our star. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.